This program was made possible by contributions to the Animation Entertainment Channel from viewers like you. Thank you. So what's the difference between work and play? Well, work is when you show up and do a job, and when you do your job well, you get paid money. And play is stuff you do for entertainment, things that you do for fun, not necessarily things you do for money. And we're all proud to play our part at Benson's Grill by supporting animation, entertainment, and its programming. Yeah, and you're gonna find 
certainly glad I enjoyed myself. are good investments. You're grounded for 14 days if you keep this up. And I mean business Cinderella. All right, Tarzanos. Custodian Cow has a big announcement he'd like to share with us. How and now, Custodian Cow? Oh, you want me to tell him now? Oh, okay. <clears throat> so, class, there's been a death in my family. My father's just died, so my mother wants me to come on up and see her and the entire family. Uh, way up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Excuse me, Mr. Custodian Cow, sir. We're really sad to hear that. But I sure hope you have a great trip. Oh, and don't forget to bring 25 tons of milk with you and it'll get you up to snuff. Hey, can I come too? I've always wanted to come too. And I've always wanted to come with you. I want to see what Milwaukee looks like. Does it look like Vermont? Does it look like the Alps? Come on, what does it look like? Come on, I want to go with you. 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 No, 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 no. No, Gingerbread Man, you're not coming with me. And Humpty Dumpty, I'll see what I can do to bring those milk drugs. And Geppetto, I'm going to need someone here to take over my rule while I'm gone, okay? So, see what you can do to get that old substitute of mine ready. Sure thing, my Mooka friend. And I know someone in this class who would be perfect for the job. She's famous for withstanding chores and dirty work. So in technical terms, I'm gonna choose... Cinderella! Oh my gosh, why me? I can't Well, Cindy, you were of course chosen because you and that custodian both have the same thing in common. Work, work, work. Work, work, work. I hate work, work, work. My stepsisters made me do it yesterday while stepmother was visiting a wedding. I even had to do a difficult computer quiz. Well, everybody does have an enormous responsibility to their job, you know. If your stepsisters made you work, work, work all day yesterday, so can we. I understand. A principal isn't there anything you can do about it? I mean, you are the principal, aren't you? The most I can do as far as that is overlook that list of chores that custodian cow is writing right now. He'll give them to me and I can assign you on them. Humility is no substitute for a good personality, but you'll be one tomorrow. Of all the students they had to choose to fill in for that custodian, why on earth 
The next day. Good heavens, that's quite a list of chores. This isn't going to be easy. I will. Might as well start from the bottom of the list. And then work my way up to the top. It's like that it gets started. Exasperated with all those extra chores, huh? And that's something worth taking seriously. I understand that, Cindy, but I think I have an idea that just might solve your problem. You do? If it will help me make the most of my last day on the job tour. It will, Cindy, it will. You know how we as kids most of the time have to sweep and mop our floors, make our beds, help our parents cook meals, toss our laundry and put dishes away, among other chores? Yes, I do. And I've been through it all. Because they've had to make me do it. It's all from my understanding of it. Well, Cindy, let me give you some advice to take. Next time you do hard work. Especially custodian hard work. Right. Especially custodian hard work, all you gotta do is use your imagination, and the chores you do are more easy than difficult. Trust me, my dwarfs and I have done it before and it's truly paying off. You know, Snowy, that gives me an idea. The next day. Hey, Sydney, what you doing? I'm pretending to be a zookeeper giving this lucker a bath. I mean, giving this elephant a bath. What makes you say that? A puzzle. Would it be okay if I told you what Snow White told me? Sure. I mean, after all, this is your last day as substitute custodian. Well, okay then. Snow White said to me yesterday at Grandma's diner that I shouldn't complain about having to do seemingly mundane chores such as washing dishes, vacuuming floors, dusting fireplaces, washing cars, or feeding the cat. In fact, she told me that it's much better to find ways to make them fun, and using your imagination is one way to, which is what I'm doing right now. So let me get this sweet city. Pretending to be a zookeeper who's giving an elephant a bath, and that the lockers are the elephant, right? Yeah, that's right. That's one rare instance of what I said. Well, you're really on the spot for a change. I don't know. Well, we're having this so 
cobra party tonight at my house, and I was wondering if you'd like to come over. During a sleepover, my friends and I took turns trying to scare each other with ghost stories. It was approaching midnight and unable to scare each other, we thought it would be fun to go to the haunted house in the dark.